What's up? It's Chris from Stone Fox Media. And before I tell you guys what's going on in gaming news right now, can I be real with you for a second? I got to tell you guys about this documentary that came out from Norton Antivirus. It's called uh, Most Dangerous Town. And essentially, it's about this town in Romania that's been named Hackerville because there's literally so many hackers there, like the world's most dangerous hackers. And they hack Fortune 500 companies, celebrities, all kind of places over there in America. And... I was a little bit shocked because like some of the things that they said about Americans was really jacked up and you know they talked about people with the passwords one two three four and some people with the actual name password as their actual password people still do that they still do it and uh, they talk about the places that they hack and things like that I'm gonna show you guys a quick clip my story is simple I hacked an uh, email account, George Bush, Hillary Clinton, so much accounts of the Rockefellers, but I am not sorry for what I've done. Never. Never in my lifetime. Yeah, they hacked the Clintons. And this is actually having a big effect on her running for president uh, next year. So this thing is for real. And these people are for real. So I recommend you guys watching this documentary. It comes out from Norton. Of course, they're trusted and in their security. So it's a very good documentary. I do recommend you watch it. I'll put the link right here in the description box right here. So go ahead and click on that link. It's a very good documentary. Uh, moving on from that right now, let me tell you guys what's going on in gaming news because I know we're all excited about E3. It's a very big deal. But before I get to that, let me tell you guys what may happen with the whole entire PlayStation 5. Yeah, I know it sounds a little early, but it's really not. So there's been some PlayStation 5 release date and rumors that's been coming out. Uh, people talking about the console may debut in 2017, which is literally right around the corner. A lot of people are saying that it may come out right then because they're very heavy invested in the Morpheus. And it takes a whole lot of resources to do that. And the whole 4K thing and how that's like taking over everything where they even have TV networks that now only show movies and videos in 4K. So... I'm on the fence about this. I, I am. I am. Well, I would like to have my PlayStation 4 for a long period of time. I do understand that technology is moving this way and they're basically staying the same. We can't have another 10 year gap between a new console. It's, it's just not going to happen. Okay, PCs are running 4K. Some doing 8K right now. 8K. So, yeah, this is kind of a big deal. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to be salty about it and they're like, no, keep the console forever. You're going to destroy it. I think that five years is a good life cycle for a console because you have to look at it from this standpoint okay a lot of us have cell phones well at least i hope you have cell phones and we change those out about every year sometimes every two years if you really 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 love your phone and we cannot see ourselves with our cell phone for five ten years we can't do it it'll be like an ancient dinosaur so yeah, I think they really should drop this system out there in 2017. I think Microsoft should do the exact same thing. And at the minimum, they should have 4K. Minimum 4K. So go ahead and do that. Uh, let me tell you guys what's going on with the whole entire E3 thing. Because I know a lot of people are asking, where do I watch the conferences? Where do I go? What do I do? What do I do? So this is where you're going to go to actually watch the E3 conferences. Microsoft is going to be doing their E3 briefing uh, Monday at 9.30 a.m., so it's going to be on Xbox, Spike TV, and Xbox.com. So yes, you have tons of options there. Sony's going to be doing their press conference tomorrow at uh, 6 p.m. Pacific time. So hopefully their conference does not lag and does not freeze and kick you out and leave all of us waiting. Not like they've ever done it before. It's not like we're watching the conference and it just turns off. Nope, never happened. I would hope they don't do that this year. It's, it's kind of a big year. Just saying. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook so you know as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching, and I will holla at y'all later.